Na'Vi is currently one of the best ancient teams in the world, and a lot of that is due to how good JL is at Angry Beast Sight. So we're going to watch his latest three matches from IEM Rio and try to add his tricks to your bag. Let's get into it. So on piss rounds, JL pretty much does the same thing every time, and that is he is going to play this long angle here and just try to hold off against a ramp rush. He is going to support his teammate who gets rushed in cave by playing this frag here. He thinks his teammate's going to die faster, and that's just an early grenade to catch them on a timing. So he's just going to hold this slant here and just try to take a pot shot or two and then retreat out long and wait for his teammates. When the T's eventually do push later on, you can see he's just jiggling back and forth, trying to stay alive and wait for his teammates. And when his teammates do arrive, they're going to throw a flash out long and they're just going to push all together. With timings on ramp, short and long, and they're going to win the fight and take this nice piss around. So whenever Jail gets one of these two leftmost spawns on a gun round, he's going to throw an insta smoke like that, which lands in front of the doors on ruins. And then he's going to come over towards short and throw a molly frag combo, which is just attempting to slow down the player to do rush towards cave. On this round, he decides to come over towards slant and play a close angle with the MB9 just tucked away and trying to catch a timing on a player entering the site, which we are going to see here in a minute when Miles decides to execute on the site. So on this round, JL is again going to throw an Insta Smoke, this time from the fourth spawn. And something of note is that he only threw this smoke against eco rounds and not against fire rounds. And my assumption here is against ecos, Navi just likes to play for aggressive shell control. So by throwing that smoke, it gets it out early. And whereas on fire rounds, they're not playing for that aggressive control, so there's no real benefit to throwing it. Here, Jail didn't get one of the two best B spawns, and he's not going against an eco round, so he's not going to throw his insta smoke, and he's only going to throw the frag here towards shelf. He is going to come for a pillar here, and he's going to play this close angle with the MP9. I'm including this because he didn't do this with a rifle, so the main benefit here is just getting closer with the MP9 so he can get a kill like that. So in this last round with an MP9, Jail's going to play the role of a support player, he gets this first spawn, so he's going to throw an insta smoke like that, and then he's going to come over towards short and again throw his molly frag combo on shelf. He is going to flash out down ramp, and that is to provide support for his player pushing down shelf from mid, and again he's going to hold another flash, just being ready to support his teammates again. In this round, Navi is on a full save, and they're going to do a flash play down ramp. Jail is the one throwing the flash, so I thought I'd include the lineup in this video. So you just aim a little bit above the trees right about here. Once his teammates get into position, he's going to just let the flash fly and they're all going to push down. In our first gun round, we can see JL has the worst spawn and he's going to throw a insta smoke. And as we can see, it is not against a full buy, it is against a tech knight force. He is going to come up towards shore and only throw the shelf molly. He's going to throw a frag behind the molly on ramp. And that is because he thinks it's going to be a ramp rush. Um, he's going to play most of his gun rounds like this, where he's going to play from this jiggle angle up on short and just spam occasionally on this shelf. This round, his team decides to get aggressive down ramp, so he is going to support them and just try to play for trades and get to this map control. So this round is all about ramp aggression. When JL does his ramp aggression, he likes to only throw his frag and instead throw his molly down ramp. So he's going to smoke off the T molly this time and just push down and try to spam out a player that is hiding below the boost box. Something of note here is that he doesn't try to overstay his welcome, and this is true for every round where he pushes down ramp. He tries to get back up just as fast as he goes down, and he's going to try to just try, take some cave control. Once he notices the T's are pushing, he's going to regroup with his teammates and just try to delay the XQ that's coming out on site. Once his teammates are there, they're going to go for a play here and just try to make the T's make a mistake, which they do, 
and they're able to capitalize on this round and get the 3-1 advantage down from a 4-3 disadvantage. In this round, we're going to see how Jail likes to play both Long and Cave. We can see he doesn't get one of the two best B spawns, so he's not going to throw his Insta Smoke, but he is going to throw his normal set of Util towards Shelf, the Molly and Frag, and he's going to spam a little bit and then head out towards Long and pretty much do what he did on the Pistol round, which is just play these off angles towards Long and just trying to catch the players lurking up onto site. A little bit later in the round, he is going to walk up towards Slant and just play different angles, but then he is going to eventually go towards Cave later on in the round when he gets the call right about now. And we can see once he goes into Cave, he's going to re-smoke, just trying to prevent the push. Once he notices the keys are executing out on site, he's going to commit to the Cave hold and play retake with the rest of his team. And it works out for him as he's able to catch two players and defuse the bomb. So in this round, we're not really going to see anything new. We're going to see Jail throw the same set of Util towards Shelf and then head out towards Long. If you remember in the second clip with the MP9, how Navi had the double player Long with Jail playing up close on the single with an MP9 and then a bit behind him, we're going to see that again this round, except JL is going to be playing the further back position and Bit is going to be playing up close slant. Mouse doesn't actually come be this round, but I think it's just important to see this setup from a different perspective. So in this round, Heroic is going to throw the B Lurk Smoke, and we're going to observe how Jail and Navi like to play against it. So we can see it's pretty much a regular round from him. He's going to throw his normal set of Util towards Ramp and Shelf, and once he realizes that the Lurk Smoke has been thrown, he's going to quickly run out towards Long as his other teammate is pushing up trying to take the fight up on site. Now Jail is going to try to deny some space with some spams and some utility thrown towards Pillar and wait for the rest of his team to show up. Um, fortunately for him, Bit manages to get a double kill by lurking through the short smoke and so in response Jail is just going to try to take some more space up on the site and go into cave. So in this last clip I have for you guys today, I want to see how Jail likes to retake and clutch on B site. We can see him bring a bad flash, trying to blind the players on site. Him and Wonderful are going to try to lurk up and isolate this player that's planting the bomb. And unfortunately, Wonderful gets shot in the back, but now Jail knows where both players are, and he's going to try to, again, isolate these players. He manages to catch a timing on Jame, and then 1A80 and out dual flit, and get a nice 1v2 clutch and win the round for his team.